crack the exam and to get the rank you have to be very clear about uh, the concepts and the preventive oncology and your uh, pre preventer pre operative and post operative uh, workups and uh, whatever i have done uh, in this one and a half months i just literally watched video and tried to revise all the things just because of speed <laughs> i literally want to thank speed a lot because... so i bring in all the wishes and greetings to dr smriti uh, sabnani for scoring a topmost rank in any ss november 2023 session aml rank of 13 cml rank of 17 in the kanak oncology congratulations to you so much sir great doctor to have you in the session started uh, your mbbs from where all uh, I mean what you have done after that where you did your post graduation and brief on that uh, sir i have done i'm uh, i have done my mbbs from sms medical college jaipur i'm zero to 13 batch and uh, after that uh, i have done my post graduation from aims rishikesh and i have completed in january 2023 and uh, at that time also i tried for uh, uh this md uh, mcs gynae oncology in my final year but at the time i qualified but i did not uh, get the chance to appear in the interview then i again uh, tried for uh, this time uh, before that i joined uh, lady harding medical college as an uh, senior resident um, but with that i was not able to uh, study so i resigned there from there and then i try to pursue my uh, dream in this like i want to become an oncologist uh, because i had a very great uh, exposure in aims rishikesh as it it is having uh, mcs training also there and we run so many uh, cancer prevention program over there and so we had a great exposure and i was very much uh, inspired by my mentor she is a great oncologist and so i also wanted to become an oncologist like her we had a, even in the uh, covid era we also we also were assisting in a lot of cancer surgeries so from that time i got uh, get my interest in oncology so i prepared for this great doctor now can you share your preparation strategy what all you did to achieve this rank today uh as i resigned as i was uh, doing my uh, sarship in lady harding so i used to get very less time in uh, senior residency so i joined speed uh, learning app and for uh, first day like only for 3 months because i was i know that i have to crack in this uh, in november only so uh, and i used to go in the metro from gurgaon to delhi so i used to watch videos uh, during my time and uh, whenever i used to get time i used just see the video i have covered almost uh, all the oncology videos and all the guidelines and all the this trials and all i covered from the speed only and then i used to read revise them whenever i used to get time a little bit then i resigned in september from lady harding and then i prepared at uh, at home in one and a half month of duration very nice doctor very nice how many questions did you attend this exam i attempted 79 okay almost close to everything if this time the paper, paper was uh, much easier than april okay. so my, most of questions was repeat also from last november exam okay doctor what is the message that you want to give for the future aspirants of mcs in oncology uh first of all it's very very necessary to have thorough knowledge of organ uh, in gynae onco because uh, to crack the exam and to get the rank you have to be very clear about uh, the concepts and the preventive oncology and your uh, pre preventer pre operative and post operative uh, workups matlab means you should have a practical knowledge also not only the theoretical knowledge would work and uh, the second thing is ki first not only uh, clear uh, qualifying the exam is sufficient after that uh, the interview part is also very <laughs> tough job to uh, appear in the interview that was also it was also very <laughs> uh, huge uh, while i was appearing in the interview because for that is the 
but that is the most difficult part to crack in uh, interview so not only for means read not only for exam just prepare for interview before you are appearing in the exam so that is the one so can you share some of your uh, aspects of uh, interview what did you do how did you attend this interview how you are successful in that uh before interview actually they share a ppt in that they ask uh, your area of interest and uh, uh, why you want to join uh, this field and uh, what will you do in this field in future as a perspective your publications your awards and uh, your workshops and what you have done in your pg uh, pg ship before that so all this matters a lot your publications and your uh, interest and what you can do in this field later in your life that all matters a lot means it's not uh, just to clarify the exam it's all about the throughout the life you are going to in this uh, in this field so you have to accept this field uh, by heartly very nice doctor time to thank whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to thank all of them i literally want to thank speed a lot because uh, i was getting very little time to prepare and uh, whatever i have done uh, in this one and a half months i just literally watched video and tried to revise all the things just because of speed <laughs> thanks a lot to uh, rivati ma'am and uh, all the speed faculty for uh, helping me a lot to get to rank 13 great doctor now we once again wish you all the best and all the success for a great career in mcg gynec oncology as a gynec oncologist you will be to a great community services and people definitely will be benefited of your services advance wishes and congratulations doctor thank you sir thank you